We have to work smarter. We're working in an environment now where resources are becoming increasingly scarce. Um, if we don't change the process by which we deliver care, we're just not going to be able to treat patients. The Scottish Centre for Telehealth was set up as a centre of expertise to promote the development of telehealth. We've been involved in providing remote health care uh, since the inception of the NHS. Firstly with Ship to Shore and then with remote areas such as Antarctica and the uh, oil in the North Sea. We've used desktop video conferencing from Aberdeen Royal Infirmary to the 15 community hospitals for the past seven years. Nurses call up for a second opinion and it saved an enormous number of patients a uh, round trip to Aberdeen. We've been thinking about this for quite some while. We discovered that Cisco Internet Business Solutions Group were already working on a variant of their a telepresence called Health Presence. It's the first trial of the Health Presence pod in the world. We're seeing patients who are coming to the A&E department to get care for the condition on that day. They're seen by a doctor initially using Health Presence and then they're seen again by the same doctor. It was very important that we first trialled Health Presence in a completely safe situation so that we could validate the results of patient treatment and ensure that patient safety was taken care of. Being able to see the patient clearly enables me to interact and pick up on patient's mannerisms and hidden clues. The medical instruments that are integrated into the pod enable me to examine the patient's vital signs. The patients really like it. The high definition picture is really clear and it's life size, so patients feel as if they're in the same room as the doctor. I feel very comfortable diagnosing patients using health presence. In some rural areas, experienced general practitioners may only see three or four patients a night. Their expertise should be utilised to support other areas. We need a much more connected approach. We can reduce the needless transfer of patients by redesigning the system so that the patient is seen earlier by someone with expertise. I believe that up to 90% of patients presenting out of hours could be safely assessed using the pod. Obviously, Patients who require further medical intervention will be transferred to an appropriate facility. The network as a platform gives us the opportunity to pull together fragmented activities. For example, electronic patient record and NHS 24. The next really exciting leap forward will be the opportunity to combine uh, Cisco's contact centre technology with health presence. The right people and resources could become just a health presence consultation away. We're not talking about reducing resources. What we're talking about is using what we have much more effectively. We believe that this is the start of a real revolution in healthcare and we're going to see huge changes over the next 10 years, which are going to be, at the end of the day, for the benefit of patients, professionals and organisations.